Hello, everyone. This is Ethan, and welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about metaverse concerns. Every once in a while, new technology arrives to disrupt the status quo, and while these moments are exciting, they bring new worries along with them too. Facebook's vision of the metaverse isn't the user-controlled world you might envision. As great as the metaverse sounds. It has several potential consequences to carefully consider. When Facebook arrived in 2004, it had plenty of real estate through which to spread its roots, cornering a vast chunk of what would later become a lucrative market. Now, the company is refocusing on the metaverse, hoping to repeat its success as a pioneer in a technological revolution. If Facebook, now called Meta, succeeds, it will heighten concerns that a new tech giant will monopolize the metaverse, rather than fulfilling the popular utopian vision of a metaverse powered by the decentralized ecosystem. Although the metaverse is still in its early days, it's important to highlight the problems big tech poses before it becomes. Irreversible. A key element of the metaverse is mixed reality. AR is a blend of the digital and real worlds by using virtual reality and augmented reality technologies. Eventually, this blend may become so immersive and pervasive that people's virtual and real lives become tied together and indistinguishable. If this happens, Whoever controls the metaverse could control a significant portion of reality. Here are some reasons why a meta-led metaverse is something we should be worried about. First, a privacy nightmare. Facebook's poor privacy practices have always been a subject of concern. One of the most high-profile examples was the Cambridge Analytica scandal of 2018. Although most big tech players like Amazon and Google aren't innocent of data collection, Meta stands out because of the kind of data it has access to. After buying WhatsApp and Instagram, the company has one of the largest databases of personally identifying data of any company. Although the metaverse is at a developing stage. Meta is already pouring billions of dollars into developing AR technologies, the backbone of the metaverse, and some of the most intrusive and data extractive tech gadgets you can find. Current AR devices are fitted with eye, face, hand, and body tracking tech. A pilot study in the 2021 International Symposium. Our wearable computers even fit an AR device with an electroencephalogram (EEG) system that can record your brain activity. In addition to the data Meta already has on you, the company will get even more private information about you through AR devices. Meta might be able to estimate your physical characteristics, how you walk. Talk and think, and more intrusive details on your persona. Perhaps even scarier is the fact that Meta has a dark history of sharing this kind of data with other companies. In principle, this means your data, as intrusive as collection might get, could end up just about anywhere. A meta-led metaverse means we are giving big tech our private data to sell or use to an even greater degree. Second, another digital addiction for Generation Z. Social media can be addictive, especially for young users. It is already hurting people's mental health. As society gets more immersed in the digital world. It could become even more detached from the physical. With its considerable user base, Meta is a major culprit in letting this happen. 
An investigative series in the Wall Street Journal shows that a huge percentage of young Facebook users are aware of their addiction of these products, but feel trapped and unable to reduce their usage. As another Wall Street Journal report shows, Meta wants these young users to stay hooked to maintain its revenue. The company has proven time and again that as long as it makes money, anything goes, even if that means sacrificing the mental health of Generation Z. The metaverse is said to be a significantly more immersive and additive iteration of the internet, and signs of this are already showing. Meta is targeting young social media users in its campaign to win people over on the meta-led metaverse. According to a report by Insider, the company is enlisting influencers on TikTok, a platform with a huge Generation Z user base, to promote its dreams for the metaverse. Mark Zuckerberg has explicitly said the company's key objective is attracting young adults to its platform. This history of promoting additive content to a young, addiction-susceptible market is a potentially dangerous combination for the metaverse. Third, a dangerous monopoly. Meta already enjoys a significant monopoly over our social digital life. It's difficult to have a digital social presence without using any of Meta's social media products. The metaverse promises to be an all-encompassing next phase for the internet. A lot of what isn't really possible to do on the internet today, dancing, singing, working out, could make sense with the metaverse. Well, that is certainly exciting. A meta-dominated metaverse would only put more of these new social life possibilities in the hands of a single corporation. A meta-dominated metaverse could also spell the death of independent innovation within the metaverse. Meta's business strategies are rooted in scaling and muscling out competitors. It acquired WhatsApp and Instagram, copied Snapchat features, and launched Instagram Reels to put a check on TikTok. If you are not Microsoft, Google, Apple, or a tech company with similar financial resources, innovating on the meta-led metaverse could be a stifling experience. While many people believe that no single entity will be able to maintain significant control of the metaverse, Big Tech has different ideas. Companies like Meta do not thrive in decentralization. Meta's vision of the metaverse isn't exactly the user-controlled world the larger public envisions. It's an immersive vision of its current products and ecosystem. It will likely try to replicate its existing closed-door ecosystems, ones they can control in the metaverse, without a developed policy structure in place. A meta-led metaverse is a worrying prospect. After Facebook announced it was changing its corporation name to Meta and creating the metaverse as a virtual space where people can interact digitally using avatars, former Google CEO Eric Schmidt says, Facebook's metaverse is not necessarily the best thing for human society. It expresses concerns about safety of artificial intelligence. He said he views AI, which Meta uses to run a majority of its platform's algorithms, as a giant false god that can create unhealthy and parasocial relationships. The former Google executive isn't alone in his concern about AI. The technology has been increasingly criticized by business leaders in recent months, including Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who said his confidence is not high in the transparency and safety of AI 
within his own company. Meanwhile, some analysis say augmented reality poses even more risks of abuse than social media. This doesn't mean you have to throw out your VR gaming devices right now. No, there are still key differences to understand between VR and the metaverse. Thank you for watching today's topic. If you like my channel, please consider subscribe. See you next time. Bye.